it's Tracy here back with my second to last holiday card series for 2014. I am using two stamp sets from the alleyway stamps it's be unique and be happy. So I'm starting with the little one. I'm using the hexagon shape and I'm going to create my own background. I have the Simon Says Stamp Green Apple ink and I am just going to stamp this um, kind of in like the honeycomb shape running from the lower right hand corner to the upper left hand corner. I should mention that I should have looked at my inks a little bit closer before doing this because I didn't want it to be like this lime green. I was just looking at the cover of the ink and it was a lot darker than the ink actually stamps. But I kind of like it because it's a little bit different. It's not like a traditional green Christmas color. But I would have chosen a darker color, such as the Hero Arts Green Hills or Fields of Green ink um, before I chose this one. But I didn't want to redo it um, just for that sake. Alright, so then I am using the Hero Arts Red Royal ink and I have the outline of the hexagon. And I am only stamping this on a few of the green hexagons. And I don't really want them to line up per perfectly. I want it to be a little bit off, um, like not off center, but like not exactly lining up with the um, previously stamped hexagon. It just gives it a little bit of a different look, and it also makes it easier on yourself to not have to um, like be worried that it's not perfect. So like I said, I'm only doing a few of those. And then once I finish that, I can move on to my B image. So the B comes from the B Unique set. There's the body of the B and then the stripes that you stamp separately. And then I'm using the little antennas from the B Happy set. But with the other, the larger set, there is a pair of antennas and then you can stamp like little different images um, on the ends of them. So that's really cool too. Um, but I'm just going to use the plain ones on this um, B. So I'll stamp that on my coordinations cardstock and I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'll go ahead and line that up and you can see there's like a little bit of ink that didn't stamp on the back part but I just went in with my memento marker and filled in those um, circles and then I can go ahead and stamp the antennas and then I almost forgot I need to stamp two wings to also go on the back of my B and I'm just stamping those separately because I'll be adhering them on to the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and color all of that in with my Copic markers. Alright, so I went ahead and fussy cut all of that out after I finished coloring. I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive to the bottom of the wings and then I'll place my B right on top of those and then it'll adhere them to the back of that. Alright, now we can go ahead and assemble the rest of the card. I'm using a piece of pattern paper that's from the Recollections Ho Jolly Holiday 6x6 paper pad. And that's going to go on the far right hand side of my card base. 
and this is a regular A2 size card. And then I can adhere the honeycomb piece that I stamped earlier. And then I have a piece of black paper, black cardstock, and I'll just adhere that strip into place, and that's going to go at the far right hand side of the um, honeycomb piece. And it was a little bit short, but I just went ahead and trimmed the rest of the card so that it um, fit. Alright, now I'm going to stamp my sentiment, and this does come from both of the sets, so it says Be Jolly. B is on the B Unique set, and Jolly is on the B Happy set. And I'll use the matching Memento ink. And then stamp that towards the bottom of the honeycomb piece. I'm going to adhere the B onto the card with some 3D foam squares from Best Creation. These are the large ones. Alright, and then the bee needs its wings to be a little bit sparkly, so I'm just going to use my Wink of Stella glitter pen all over the blue wings. And then my last step, I'm going to add some sequins. I'm using a dark green color, um, just because I wanted a little bit of dark green in the card to go along with the uh, lime green. <laughs> that was my honeycomb. So I'll adhere those into place with my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And then in the middle, I'm also going to use my Viva Decor Silver Pearl Pen and just add a little bit of the silver pearls right in the middle of each sequin. And then that is my finished card for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you back here next time. Bye!